Croatian armed forces consist of 15,000 active personnel and around 20,000 reserve personnel. Military spending is around 1 billion euros, which still add up to NATO requirements of minimal 2% of GDP. During the Yugoslav Wars, Croatia ended up as a winner. Croatians initially fought with old Soviet weapons, which were pretty scarce. But after the 2000s, the Croatian military underwent significant reductions in personnel and budget, resulting in the retirement of much of its equipment. However, during this time, the military industry gained experience and the ability to build heavy weapons such as armored vehicles, tanks and rocket launchers. For example, the M95 Dagman tank, equipped with Slovenian, German and Croatian systems, was designed to replace the M84 fleet. But only two to four prototypes were built due to lack of investment. The Asian army currently has 800 armored fighting vehicles, 78 main battle tanks, 350 artillery pieces, 110 rocket launchers, 12 combat fighters, 48 helicopters, and just small 30 ships for the navy. That is, it's not not good. One of the army's first major investments was the purchase of up to 160 Patria armored fighting vehicles in 2007 produced by Juro Djakovic in Slavonsky Broad. By the beginning of the 2010s, the first 126 Patria IMVs were put into service. Another 30 to 40 vehicles will be ordered and equipped with an unmanned turret armed with a 30mm gun and two Eurospike ATGMs, while the other versions are armed with an RWS protector system. In addition, the Air Force received their first new equipment since the 90s in 2012 with the order of 16 OH-58 Kiowa light combat helicopters, including Hellfire missiles. Between 2007 and 2015, various versions of the homemade VHS rifles were tested and up to 50,000 were acquired. Along with the rifles, Croatia purchased about 100,000 HS-2000 pistols and a new standard uniform made in Croatia. To modernize the infantry, Croatia purchased around 10,000 other assault sniper rifles and machine guns from other NATO countries such as Germany, Belgium and the US. The first four UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters arrived in Zagreb in 2022. Another fleet of two helicopters is in order to replace the old Mi-8 in the next year. There are plans for modernization of the tank fleet and a possible purchase of MLRS M270 systems with a range of up to 300 km. However, the Croatian's military biggest weakness to lies is its ground-to-air defense capabilities. The army currently only has some Stinger and Strela man pads and some short-range missiles of Soviet origin. While some S-300 systems are stored somewhere in the country, they were only used for military plays in 1995 and were reportedly sent to the US and Israel. Another area where the Croatian military is looking to improve is in the field of UAVs. As mentioned earlier, the lack of attack UAVs is seen as a weakness and efforts are being made to acquire them. There are plans to purchase attack UAVs from Israel, the US or local Croatian production. But looking uh, between today and 1995, the Croatian army is modernized. The land forces are equipped with domestically produced infantry rifles which are up to NATO standard. The tank force is pretty old and far from modern. Currently the Croatian army operates 75. M84A4 tanks. At one point, the Croatian army was considering modernizing them to the A5 standard. This would have included the installation of several upgrades, such as an improved fire control system, a new battlefield management system, a third generation thermal site, and advanced ERA. However, the cost of the upgrade ultimately exceeded the modernization budget. As a result, the Croatian army agreed to a limited general overhaul, which only included the rubber tracking sets. It also newly bought Patriot Light IFVs. After the mobility and firepower, and coupled with American promise Bradleys, Croatia should have a formidable vehicle force. In case of artillery, Croatia has dozens of old Soviet howitzers and a fair bit of PZH-2000 German modern high precision self-propelled guns, which are great, but they lack in numbers since only 16 of them are in service. Air force is pretty weak for NATO standards. 12 old MiG-21s are not formidable to fight in a modern conflict. They lack modern radars and firing systems. Any engagement with a modern fighter would end catastrophically for MiG-21 pilot. Furthermore, Croatia set out to buy 12 used French Dassault Rafales. They are supposed to arrive in this decade and will strengthen the Air Force by a huge margin. But again, their number is just too low to make Croatia a region of power in disguise. They should be able to cover the Croatian airspace, but fighting in a large-scale war would not be feasible. Thankfully, right now Croatia does not have a potential powerful adversary near its border, so the procurement of hundreds of modern aircraft is not needed.
Overall, the Croatian military has made significant strides in modernizing and professionalizing its forces since the early 2000s. However, there is still room for improvement, particularly in areas of MBTs, Navy, ground to air defense, military logistics, and UAV capabilities. With increased investments and continued efforts to integrate with NATO, Croatian military is poised to become a more capable and effective force in the region.